Man oh man, it is 2023 and a fast fashion company is being charged with Ricos. Oh my goodness. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that little like button out there in that corner. Or it might be on this one. I don't know yet. But either way, so she in Sheen or Shine or however you want to pronounce it. Because we all pretty much at this point keep calling it whatever we feel like calling it at this point. It's hit with a lawsuit that alleges that the fast fashion retailer runs an elaborate operation that seeks out and steals intellectual properties of designers big and small while also utilizing a confusing corporate structure that allows the company to circumvent allegations of theft with minimal legal consequences now that is the first headline from a complex article that i read myself and i'm going to explain it in a very very simple turn for you guys to really understand what is going on because just like you guys everybody ain't trying to read all of that shit. now i am confused a little bit but basically what they're saying is that they have a, a algorithm or a set of people that go out there and find brands that are growing that are expanding either on social media twitter or whatever have you and then what they do is that they copy those designs they copy whatever those people are doing but here's the thing how they circumvent having some form of uh allegations against them is they only make a finite amount a very very small amount so just in case the creator head says hey that look like my shirt that look like my design that look like my pants they can quickly address the issue by pulling the pulling the clothes off or if it does end up going to trial that is something that's again so minimal that they can just address it right then and there and then they just go ahead and rinse and re Pete. Now, the crazy thing about all of this is that I just would never would have thought that this was really a thing. I mean, yes, we all know that, you know, we have companies out there that steal brands and, you know, obviously you can go into, a, you know, any type of hair store and see knockoff Yeezys and different things like that. But I have never heard of anything happening like this on this scale. So this is actually pretty crazy. Um, But they say in the event of a cease and desist or lawsuit, the plaintiff's claim Sheen replies, relies upon a multiplicity of entities and hourly decentralized structure aid in its efforts to avoid liability for intellectual property infringement the suit alleges the retailers would place the blame on an independent company when in actuality the entities subject to the accusations are connected to she in now again like i said before these are just their ways to get around if a company is like hey that's mine and they just say hey look we just sell it we ain't know we ain't got nothing to do with it talk to them folks and so again this is all crazy but regardless man i do know there's gonna be a lot of people that still wants to shop i've seen some memes of people saying they don't know if they should uh you know buy what's in the cart now because they're not sure if it's going to get to them or if they should wait for some type of like discount i don't really know but regardless rico's you know usually have like an 80 something 85 percent conviction rate at least in the at least when it comes to rico's that i know of so more than likely they're probably going to end up losing this but will it result in them having to shut down the site yet to be seen but if you go on the complex uh website you want to read the full article there's a lot of people um that are going to stand beside them because obviously a lot of people love fast fashion it's convenient it, you know it's it's got pretty much everything you're looking for without having to go through the hustle and bustle of running around in different stores and not being able to find your size or things like that but let me know what you guys think down below